Have you ever dreamt of experiencing the country's rich history firsthand? The quiet town of Papan, located in the heart of Para, is your gateway to Malaysia's past. Today, Papan may seem quiet, but this quaint town was once home to over 2,000 residents. To learn more about its history, FMT Lifestyle visits the Papan Heritage Gallery to meet with Jackie Chu Sang Leong, head of the Papan Heritage Conservation Group. Contrary to its name, Papan's roots to the timber industry are debatable. Instead, this town was one of the earliest tin mining settlements in the Kinta Valley, attracting migrants from all over. Papan is the, one of the most prosperous uh, town in Kinta Valley. Uh, together, I think same time with Koping also. So Papan striving uh, until the year of 18, 1920. So about this 20, 30 years, Papan is one of the busiest uh, town in the Kinta Valley. But as the demand for tin dwindled across Malaya in the early 1900s, Papan experienced a sharp decline in both population and commercial activity. And with Ipoh growing in popularity, many chose to relocate to the state capital. But Papan's history extends far beyond being a tin mining town. Chu reveals that it was also the site of a former World War II clinic. Known as Number 74 Main Street, it was run by Sibyl Katigasu, who, along with her physician husband, provided medical aid to resistance fighters during the Japanese occupation. For her efforts, she was awarded the George Medal for Bravery. Although many of the buildings in Papan are worn down, several monuments dating back more than a century still stand strong. Perched on a slight hill is the Grand Istana Raja Villa, once the town's administrative house, which was completed in 1896 by local chief Raja Villa. And nearby stands Masjid Lama Papan, one of the oldest mosques in Pera, which was completed in 1888. Through the Papan Heritage Group, Chu is eager to preserve the uniqueness of the town and promote its rich history as its strongest selling point. Papan is so rich of history, so many things that people like to see. I myself love Papan. Why? Because of all the I say the fake away history feeling, you know, all the remnants, old buildings feeling that's that you cannot find anywhere. So that's why I say, why don't we try to revive this old town? In fact, it is the old folks who still live here who largely help with their conservation efforts, as many of the artifacts in the Papan Heritage Gallery were donated by them. One such person is 88-year-old Lao Chuen Yao, who has lived in the town for the past 70 years. With the dedication of the Papan Heritage Conservation Group, this near-forgotten town has been given a new breath of life. So don't miss the opportunity to visit Papan on your next trip to Pera to embark on a journey through time. TV Ragu, FMT Lifestyle.